Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. In today's episode, we've got the Champions League semi-final against Manchester City, both legs. And we've also got to review the fixtures, one of which was a double-figure scoreline. So following on from smashing Barcelona 5-2 on aggregate in the Champions League quarters, we then beat West Bromwich Albion 2-1 in the FA Cup semi-final. Anthony Martial bailing us out in this one, a 10th minute goal and then an 86th minute winner. And I thought our unbeaten streak in the league was coming to an end. We went away from home against Spurs and took the lead through Alex Tellez. Lucas Moura's brace within four minutes meant Spurs were 2-1 up going in at the final 10 minutes. Mason Greenwood in the 82nd, Anthony Martial in the 94th gave us the three points and we retain our unbeaten status in the Premier League. And then uh, who saw this one coming? Manchester United 11, Leeds United 2. Absolutely unbelievable. I have seen nothing like it on FM21 yet. Marcus Rashford with a bear. Did he get a hat-trick? I didn't even know. Martial got a hat-trick. Mason Greenwood got a hat-trick. Uh, Harry Maguire got a brace. And Marcus Rashford got a brace. Uh, am I missing anybody? Oh, Hakimi got one in the 23rd minute as well. Absolutely unreal stuff. We weren't even full strength. I mean, pretty much full strength. We dropped Bruno Fernandes for today's game and played Van der Beek. But... <laughs> 44 shots, 28 of them on target, and expected goals of six. Um, I haven't seen numbers like that this year, and I'm thrilled that we weren't on the receiving end of it. Well, that takes us to today, where we have our Champions League semi final against Man City. The first leg in the other round has already been played. Lazio and Real Madrid playing out a one all draw. You would imagine Real Madrid are going to comfortably end up winning that, playing the second leg at home. But let's get into today's game. I don't think we've got any major injury issues. Kingsley Coleman is still injured, but I'm, I've pretty much written him off for the rest of this season, so I'm not too concerned about that one. And we're playing at pretty much full strength. I would like Nemanja Matic on the bench in case we need to sub off Benton Kerr and Van der Beek coming on for one of the others. But yeah, that's going to be the starting line. I'm David here in goal. Hakimi, Felipe, Maguire and Tellez in the defence. Benton Kerr and Pogba in the midfield with Mason Greenwood, Fernandez, Martial and uh, playing in behind Marcus Rashford. So we've beaten them twice already this season. Three times actually, including the FA Cup. And I would like to do it again, please, boys. Now is the time that we really, really need it. So we're playing at home in the first leg. So we've got the initial advantage. Let's see if we can make a count. First highlight of the game comes nine minutes in. We're in possession in our own half. Just don't lose. Don't lose it, boys. Of course, we're lost it. Kyle Walker bombing down that right-hand side. He's got acres of space to go into. Please get the challenge in. No, 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 no. It's cleared. Who's getting there? It's going to be Nathan Akia picking up the ball in the centre of the park for Man City. De Bruyne got lots of options on that right-hand side. They're playing it inside, though. Come on, get challenging. We can Paul Pogba. Cuts out the pass and can this be a break of dreams? Anthony Martial carries it through the centre. He feeds it to Marcus Rashford. Come on, Marcus. He tries to chip the keeper. He hits the bar. Oh, it goes over the top. I can't believe it. Oh, we should be 1-0 up. That would have been such, such a beautiful goal as well. Marcus Rashford hitting the bar. Come on, boys. Anthony Martial coming down the left-hand side. Plays it out to the edge of the area with Paul Pogba, Benton Kerr. Got Hakimi overlapping. We go all the way back to Maguire. Alex Tellez can pick it up. In the final third, he gets past his man. Can he whip in a decent cross? He's got the ability. He finds Marcus Rashford at the front post. He's 24th goal of the season. We're 1-0 up. 36 minutes in. Just calm down. Oh, we have another highlight and it's us in possession. With seven minutes to go in this first half. Bruno Fernandes finds Benton Kerr. Who goes for goal. And if he'd hit that on target, it was going in the back of the net. Edison had no chance. The first half has suddenly come alive ever since that goal. Hakimi. Bombing down this right-hand side. Can't get past Rodrigo. And Man City pick up possession. Oh, don't do this to me, Raheem. Do not do this to me. The ball is eventually played to Bernardo Silva. He finds Raheem Sterling in the box. That went out to play, ref. I'm adamant. I feel like they're just torturing me. They're just keeping possession. Playing it about nicely. Raheem Sterling's broken through the back line. Big save, David De Gea. Oh, no. There's a highlight before half-time. And it's Man City. With the ball, Raheem Sterling's causing us all sorts of problems down this left-hand side. Hakimi manages to get back this time, but doesn't clear it well. And Bernardo Silva's in behind. David De Gea. So he's offside. He's offside. <laughs> We're getting away with that one. Definitely. And we managed to survive. Man United 1, Manchester City 0. Um, things are going okay. I'm not too sure. Uh, we looked 
the far better side for the first 40 minutes and then the last five minutes, Man City sort of came alive. Bruno Fernandes with a free kick for the first highlight of the second half and Edison with a fantastic save. Uh, we do get a corner out of it. Probably not going to come to anything, but we'll stick with it just in case. Alex Tellez is the man to take it and it's cleared. Another corner, Tellez once again to take it. Harry Maguire can't get there ahead of Ruben Diaz, but Alex Tellez will be the first man to the ball. Don't give it away, Luis Felipe. Plays it to Hakimi, he's got the legs, he can stretch them. He finds Bruno Fernandes in the box, and what a finish. That is my son, his 11th goal of the season. He's not our main goal scorer, but he's one of the key components in our attack and play. And Hakimi turns provider, and we're 2-0 up with half an hour to go. What do we do? Do we make changes? I feel like I don't, not right now anyway. So time is ticking on, we're getting towards the last 20 minutes or so. I was just about to make... Uh, a substitution, Bruno Fernandes is looking pretty tired out there, but we'll stick with this highlight as Man City come forward with Raheem Sterling. He feeds it to Aguero. He's gone for the chip. Too audacious. Too audacious. David here picks it up easy. I mean, let's get this sub in before uh, they start off with another highlight. Van der Beek comes on in the attack and midfield role. Oh, is Anthony Martial injured? Oh, please. He's been so good this season since he's gone on that left-hand side. We'll have to wait and see about that one. He's off the pitch currently. Paul Pogba feeds it to Benton Kerr on the edge of the box. He hits the post. Oh, we've been so unfortunate. I will quickly take a look before this highlight continues. He is injured, so we're going to get Daniel James on that left-hand side uh, and take Anthony Martial off. We don't need to risk him right now. It's not goals we're needing. It's not conceding is what we're needing. But Hakimi comes forward into the box. He shouldn't shoot, mate. I've told him to shoot less often, and he's not listening. Time is ticking away. Let's waste a little bit more of it with a substitution. Paul Pogba is staying on the pitch. <laughs> Alex Tellez can come off. He's on a yellow card as well, so it's probably a good sub to make just in case. And we'll bring on Luke Shaw for him at left back. Oh, there's a highlight just before full time. If Man City get a goal here, they are right back in this. Hakimi, though, just, I mean, just punt it. Luis Felipe gets rid. I'm assuming there's going to be a chance out of this highlight. Marcus Rashford, I mean, He's missed. Oh my God, he's missed. Marcus Rashford, you absolute donkey. I can't believe it. If we get put out here, if we go out because of that, I'm going to be fuming. We're still going to get away with this, I think, with a 2-0 win, as long as this doesn't turn into anything to Bruyne. Nah. <laughs> I mean, dodgy place to blow full time, wasn't it? 2-0, Rashford and Fernandez on the score sheet. Rashford is very fortunate to have a 7.2 average rating after that, I would say. But we get away with it. We've got the second leg coming up away from home. We've got Aston Villa in between. So I'll quickly play that, show you the result, and we'll get into this second leg. So for the game in between, we ended up beating Aston Villa 2-1. It was a close game. We had to bring on Anthony Martial, who had decided to rest off the bench, who saved us after Ollie Watkins had uh, equalised after Harry Maguire had put us 1-0 up. But that's not the main talking point today. It is the second leg against Manchester City. Let's have a look and see why he keeps putting Scott McTominay in. I do not know. Paul Pogba is the starter in central midfield. We have a full strength side. Anthony Martial, Rashford, Fernandez, Greenwood, Pogba, Benton, Kerr, blah, 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 blah. Let's get to the game. Let's get the second leg. Let's hopefully, hopefully get to a Champions League final. First highlight of the game comes seven minutes in. Mason Greenwood with the ball in the final third. Lovely ball over the top by Benton Kerr. Don't shoot. He plays it back to Hakimi. Hakimi, don't shoot either. The highlight is continuing, so I'm assuming that wasn't the chance it was trying to show me. This is Marcus Rashford's in behind. And Marcus Rashford puts us... Oh, is he offside? It's going to be uh, checking goal review, please. The assistant didn't flag. Please. Oh, it's disallowed. I don't bloody believe it. We have another highlight, 20 minutes in. We are playing the ball about at the back, and I'm terrified. Thankfully, we've retained possession well. Mason Greenwood finds Marcus Rashford in a pocket of space. He's got a sea of blue uh, ahead of him to get through. We need to get some more support to him quickly. Hakimi gets the byline, crosses it in. Anthony Martial's there. He is not offside, is he? Absolutely not. Hakimi was on the byline. We get ourselves the first goal of the game, 22 minutes in. That puts us 3-0 up on aggregate. And we just need to hold it now. Anthony Martial, come on. And we get to half-time, 1-0 up. Man City offering absolutely nothing so far. Let's kick off for the second half. Gabriel Jesus replaces Raheem Sterling. That is absolutely fine by me. Sterling 
was my main concern coming into this game. He caused us all sorts of problems in the first leg. First highlight of the second half. It's a Man City corners played in. Rodrigo gets his head in it and goes wide and over. Come on, boys. We are we are 20 minutes away. But they need to score four goals. There's absolutely no chance they're doing that. We're going to rest players. <laughs> That's how confident I am. Van der Beek's coming on for Rodrigo Benton. Kerr. Daniel James for Mason Greenwood. And we're bringing on Scott McTominay for uh, Paul Pogba in the centre of midfield. We've made our team weaker, but I'm confident. Five minutes left. We have ourselves another highlight. McTominay back to Van der Beek. Just don't lose the ball. I wouldn't mind a clean sheet either. Just saw the nerves steer down. Harry Maguire with the punt over the top for Alex Tellez on this left-hand side. Can he whip the ball in? He can. Anthony Martial. Shot was blocked initially. Man City get clear. Two minutes remain, boys. We are through to the Champions League final. I don't even care what you do now, Man City. I'd prefer not to concede. Um, that's just a little bit of pride. But if you do score, who gives a monkeys? We are doing you. We are going to the Champions League final. And we're likely going to be playing Real Madrid, probably the best team um, of this season, based on what I've been seeing from the other leagues. I think they're still top of La Liga, um, completely dominating Barcelona. I think they were nine points clear last time I checked. So uh, it's going to be tough. It is going to be tough. But we have proven we can fight with the top boys. We'll beat Juventus in the group stage. We'll beat Barcelona along the way. And um, we're getting there. Man City is the latest scalp as Mares gets into the box. This highlight has went on forever. I'll see you at the end. Well, it turned out to be a pretty dull game at the back end of that. But we do come away 1-0 winners on the night. 3-0 winners on aggregate. And we're through. We are through to the Champions League final. Come on, boys. Well, so the second leg for the other semi-final has not been played yet. So I'll quickly go through forward. I need to see who we're playing. It was 1-1 after the first leg. So let's see how Real Madrid and Lazio do. Come on, Lazio. Come on, Lazio. Come on, Lazio. Still hasn't been played. As expected, Real Madrid win 3-1 in the second leg. 4-2 on aggregate and get themselves through to the final. Eden Hazard with a hat-trick. He is going to be a difficult man to stop. Well done by Lazio, though, getting themselves into a Champions League semi. But uh, that makes for an interesting end of the season. Tell you what, lads, we're going to have back-to-back -back episodes of final. The next episode will be the FA Cup final against Liverpool, our closest competitors in the Premier League. We're only one point clear of them with two games in hand, though, um, in the league. So, uh, did they draw? We must have drew against Liverpool. Yeah, we drew against Liverpool early on in the season, 2-2. And then we'll beat them at home 2-1 in the Premier League. So we do have the advantage in terms of previous meetings. I would love to win the FA Cup. I would love to win the Premier League. And I would love to win the Champions League. FA Cup next episode. I will see, I'll hopefully see you there. If you have enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.